Hello everyone, welcome to your virtual instructor. So today we are going to talk about AWS application load balancer. We'll see how to balance the traffic between two targets behind the load balancer. And also we are going to see how to use the path based routing in the application load balancer. So let's jump into our lab for today. Here I'm in my AWS console home. So here first we are going to launch EC2 instances which will act as a target for our application load balancer. Click on launch instances. Give it a name. I will be going with the existing key pair login. Click on edit network setting and I will be going here with the public subnet and auto assign public IP should be enabled. We we'll leave the default security group rule for the SSH as it is, but we are not going to use it anyway. And we will be adding one more security group rule to allow the HTTP traffic from anywhere. You scroll down and expand the advanced detail and scroll down to the bottom and paste our bash script which is going to install Apache server in our EC2 instances. And the number of instances we will be needing to and click on launch instances. Till the time EC2 instances are pending, let give them a better name. Now both are running. Open the public IP of both the EC2 instances in the browser. And we will have to change the protocol to HTTP. And hit on enter. Now we are able to reach both our EC2 instances. Now we will be creating the application load balancer. Go to the EC2 dashboard and scroll down and go to the load balancer. Click on create. Here select application load balancer. Give it a name. And it should be internet facing. Select our VPC. And select both the availability zones. And we have to select public subnet because our load balancer is internet facing. Here I will be creating a new security group for our load balancer. Give our security group some name and we will be adding inbound rule to allow HTTP traffic from anywhere. Now go back to the load balancer and click on refresh and select our newly created security group. Here I want to go with the HTTP ATT and here we have to create a new target group. So target group is basically a group of targets which are going to act as a target for our load balancer. So it should be instances type. Give target group is some name. Health check I want to check index.html file. Advanced health check setting I will keep it as a default and will be hitting on next. I will be selecting both, the, uh, both our EC2 machine and include as pending below and click on create. Now if I click on refresh, I can see my target group. Now hit on create load balancer. It will take a minute or so. In the meantime, if I go to my target group, and if I go to the targets, so currently the health status is still initial. Now our load balancer is active. And our target status is also healthy. Now copy the DNS name of our application load balancer. 
and paste it in the browser and change the protocol to HTTP and let's hit enter. So here you can see we are able to reach one of the EC2 instances. So if I go to EC2 dashboard, here the IP is ending with 184. And here if you see the IP is ending with 184. And for the second web server, the IP is ending with 137. And if I refresh a couple of times, then I can see my another EC2 instance. Now, second thing I want to show that we are uh, still allowing the traffic directly to the EC2 instances, which we shouldn't be doing. So we will be blocking the traffic and it should be only allowed from our application load balancer. So go to the EC2 dashboard and go to the security groups. Select our security group for the web server. Click on, click on edit inbound rules and delete the previous entry for the HTTP traffic and add a new one for allowing the HTTP traffic from our application load balancer security group. Click on save. And now go back to the browser. And here you can see I am not able to reach our EC2 directly. But here I can reach via load balancer. So this should be the ideal practice where we shouldn't be allow, allowing the traffic directly to the EC2 instances. The second scenario which I want to show is regarding the path based routing. So for that we will be creating two different target groups. So hit on create target group and again instance type and target given name. Let's say images and select our VPC. Click on next and here we will be adding web server 01 and hit on create. Second one we will be creating for the videos. Select our VPC, click on next and here we will be adding our web server 02. Include pending as below and hit on create. Now go back to the load balancer and go to the listener and rules. Select the listener and add rule. Here give it a name. Click on next. And here I want to add a condition based on the query string. So the value should be let's say type is equal to images. Confirm. Click on next. And here we will be selecting the target group for the images. Click on next. Let's give the priority 1. Click on next. And let's hit on create. Again go back to the listener. And add rule. Now this time we will be adding the rule for the videos. Click on next. We will be adding a condition. Here again query string type should be equal to videos. Click on confirm. Click next. Select the target group and this time video target group. Click on next. Let's give the priority 2 and click on next. And let's hit on create. Now let's go back to the browser. And let's include the query string type is equal to say images. Now let's open a, another tab and here type is equal to videos. And if I click on enter on both, then you can see this is hitting 184. That means our web server 01 IP. And if I click enter here, it is hitting 137, which is our web server 02. So this is how path based routing works, where you can redirect the traffic based on the query string or the path string or the host header, etc. or the, even the source IP to the different targets. And if I hit uh, the load balancer DNS without any query string, then I will be redirected to the default target group. Now let's clean up our resources. 
first we will be deleting the load balancer and now I will be deleting my target groups. So this marks the end of our lecture for today. I hope you liked it. So please do provide your feedback. So thank you for watching and have a nice day ahead. Thank you.